Private versus public. The big debate over school vouchers is heating up in Austin, driving this big divide, state money, and who should get it. Andrea Lucia exploring the issue today and the conflicting measures being passed by both the House and the Senate. 18 eyes and 13 nays. The bill passes through. As the Texas Senate yesterday voted to create a school voucher program, the Texas House. There have been 86 eyes and 52 nays. The members adopted. Moved in the opposite direction. These are public funds for public schools. It passed a budget explicitly prohibiting the use of state money for school vouchers. I'm I'm still worried a little bit that it could get passed. Blaine Blanford, who has two children in Plano ISD, isn't sure where things stand now, but worries vouchers would hurt the state's most vulnerable families. I don't know that it's going to be enough to even cover the entire tuition, so it's still really only benefiting middle class families and it's taking money away from the schools who are already strapped for cash. In a statement yesterday, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick wrote, we need school choice for parents who want options other than their failing public school. Patrick and the governor have both argued forcefully that vouchers empower parents, but they're facing opposition from more than just Democrats. In rural Texas, public schools are often the only schools and have strong community support. The Democrats and those rural Republicans, two dozen or so of them, uh, will likely stick together. SMU political professor Cal Gilson says the Texas House has historically back. opposed vouchers. And while state leaders may want to put up a fight, he says they're unlikely to draw things out if they don't see a chance of winning. If people are locked in place, then there's no reason that Abbott and Patrick would want to get beat again in a special session. Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas. Staying up.